guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here at LAX. I'm about to get on a flight to Panama City. So I'm on a red eye tonight and I wanna land as fresh faced and dewy and hydrated as I can. As you know, flights are super brutal to the skin. They dry the crap out of my skin. So I'm going to be doing a skincare routine for you guys and we'll see how I land. I actually land at 6 a.m. I'm on a red eye tonight, so it's gonna be a challenge. Let's see if I can <laughs> look decent when I land. So, let's start. I like to start my skincare routine about halfway through the flight. One, because I feel like it's around halfway that the circulating air has sucked my face dry. And also, it's around that time I get a little bit bored. <laughs> I always start by making sure my canvas is as fresh as can be, so I love to use these wipes. They are just the Target version of the Neutrogena wipes. Also, first things first, here I am profusely apologizing for how extra I'm about to be. You'll definitely have some people breaking their necks, just FYI. I had actually applied the Summer Fridays jet lag mask right when I sat down that you guys didn't see. So I'm just making sure that my skin is hydrated throughout the flight and I'm just wiping all of that off before I jump into more skincare. I really love these wipes by the way and they're super affordable. Next we're moving on to my favorite step for in-flight skincare things, a sheet mask. I used to do these all the time at home, now I find myself mainly using them 36,000 feet above ground. I do love these Luminous Dewy Skin Masks by Tatcha. It's like their glorious dewy mist in a potent sheet mask form. This will take you from Sahara to rainforest in 20 minutes. Did I mention this is the part of the skincare routine that your neighbors will start questioning your sanity? I look like a serial killer now, but trust me, it's so worth it. While I let that work its magic and revive my parched skin for 20 minutes, I'll take you through some other skincare products I packed with me, but I didn't use on this routine. I packed the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which I have been using all month. I love it, it absorbs so nicely. Also by Charlotte Tilbury is her Magic Night Cream. It's super thick. If you have severely dry skin, you'll wake up extremely, extremely moisturized. Next is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, which is one of my favorite cleansers. So happy that it's TSA friendly now. Milky Jelly Cleanser isn't the best for mascara removal, especially since I usually wear waterproof in tropical places like Panama. So I brought the Tatcha Cleansing Camellia Oil and it's a great first step for cleansing the face. I also have my favorite toner in a travel mini. This is the Fresh Rose Facial Toner. To keep my skin congestion free, especially with all the sunblock and sweat that goes into a tropical climate vacation, I brought the Pixi Glow Tonic, which is a very gentle exfoliating toner. I also packed with me the Tatcha Essence, which keeps my skin feeling supple and hydrated. Not a skincare thing, but it was in the mix. Poopery, self-explanatory. I also packed these Wander Baggage Claim Eye Patches. What a genius name, by the way. I usually get very little sleep on vacation, so these are always super necessary. My Super Goop Sunscreen. This is by far my favorite to travel with. It's a sweat-proof, waterproof SPF 50 easy compact bottle. It's so awesome. I also like to add a little bit of no makeup makeup favorites when I land in the daytime. So I packed the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Gives your skin an instant refresh. The light reflecting particles help fake filtered looking skin. And also the Glossier Skin Tint. Let me say I love this improved formula so much. And these are all my in-flight friends that I'm traveling with. And friends is always comfort food on a plane. So now it's time to take off this mask. It's so crazy how dry the mask end up. That's how moisture sucking the air is on a flight. So you didn't think it was just going to be a sheet mask and we're done, right? <laughs> Let the hydration layering begin. First, I'm using the Glossier Soothing Face Mist. Again, TSA friendly. Yay. Thank you, Glossier. Ah, look at that face of sure bliss. Next is the Caudalie SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. This is packed with yummy ingredients like organic grape water, olive squalane, and hyaluronic acid. It also helps to calm down irritation and of course, extremely dry skin. To seal all that moisture in, I'm finalizing with the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I used to own the full size version of this a few years ago and loved it. It absorbs quickly into the skin and the ceramides in it also allows the skin to feel very soft and moisturized. 
And because my under eyes are the driest part of my face, I packed my heavy duty and most favorite eye cream, the Fresh Cream Ancien. This dramatically improves the appearance of fine lines. It completely fills and hydrates my crow feet and I'm left with baby soft skin. Okay, really, really, now it's time to finalize, which is an oil. This one is Heaven by Tatcha. It's their gold camellia beauty oil. It gives the skin so much nourishment and radiance since it's packed with antioxidants and essential fatty acids. This product really delivers and it smells super nice too. I love to warm up the oil in my hands and then just kind of pat it to seal all of those moisture goodies into the skin. Okay, still not done yet, but I have to show you guys. This is my new favorite thing to travel with. It's the Traveler's Protection Balm by The Lost Explorer. It's made with Ravensara, I believe it's called. Camphor leaf oil and eucalyptus leaf oil. Bacteria is everywhere on a flight and everyone being in close proximity, it's super easy to become sick if you inhale particles in the air from someone coughing or sneezing or even touching infected surfaces and then touching your eyes, your mouth, or your nose. So these bombs come in clutch, not only for keeping me from inhaling any nasties, but also it smells so nice that it's super therapeutic and I'd rather smell that than anyone's odor around me. I am super sensitive to scent. And finally, finally for my lips, a little bomb.com from Glossier and for my hands, my lovely Waleda skin food. And ta-da, we are done. Stepping off the plane, looking hella hydrated and dewy and not like I've been stuck in, you know, the Sahara Desert for six and a half hours. Pretty good, that's right? I feel like my face is so glowy. Oh my god, I'm like really impressed. That's gonna be the new skincare routine for sure. I'm just gonna add a little bit more glow with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. A little bit of the glossy stretch concealer just to look alive and well. I'm like really happy with how moisturized my face actually looks after that six and a half hour flight. This is just gonna help give us the appearance of rested skin since I didn't sleep too much on the plane. Just because I love the dewiness, I'm gonna add this Flesh Beauty. It's one of those glossier highlights. What do you guys think? Super glowy, dewy, fresh faced. I'd say an 8 out of 10. Alright, um, stay tuned for the next adventures here in Panama and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!